Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is the second installment on how to create a puzzle. And one of my subscribers uh, sent me a message on YouTube. And thank, first of all, thank you very much because this is really a neat little program. It's uh, If you will just Google this, Puzzle Generator, and it comes up and this is what it looks like now I have not figured out yet how to change it to inches but that's easily done inside a Corel draw so you would set you know how many pieces you want in the row and then you can change all these different tabs and if you'll watch these down here change that's tab one tab two castle uh, crosses that would be pretty neat um, balls footballs uh, clovers and so let's just go with regular tab here and I played around with the skew but I'm not going to skew these I haven't really played around with it enough to educate you that um, you know it's got Continuous cut lines for laser cutting. So there's there you go for us now. It's it's probably already set to make S V E or S V G files and then all you have to do is hit submit And then save it go down to save as and save it wherever you normally save place and we're gonna We're just gonna rename this wolf generator dash uh tabs let's call it two and then hit save then go to Corel draw and you can see I've already done some tonight just go to file import start typing in that wolf there's our tab two import it now it's making it 11 in you know if you're working with this in the United States it's 11.8 one one inches but that's easily changed now there's really no color yet so while you've got it all selected go down here and check your outline color to red hairline and there you go you have a puzzle um, already made and cut out and, and a pretty good one and, and clean and equal and you can change things you can ungroup it and you could you know take the box well, I must not ungroup it all lasso that ungroup all and you could you know move your box out of the way which you wouldn't really want to do because you want your puzzle to be cut but you could uh, let's put it in the back of the page then you could hit your lines and you could you know you could move these around a little bit you know make them a little bit you know make them your puzzle anyway this is a neat program uh, just real quickly you know there's the the clover there's a heart one there's the skew here's another clover now you're gonna say well what if my puzzle isn't you know 11 8 all you have to do and we'll do it on this one is just group it all together and then just change it to uh, 10 by 8 for a normal picture. Now, going back to his program, so it's it's made them a little different shape, but who cares? It's a puzzle. So going back to his program, you could change this, you know, to probably 200 millimeters and hit submit. And let's just see what it looks like. Now you could open it and you can see it's, you need to save it because you can't really do anything with that. So we'll get out of there. So we'll go, we're still the same. We're going to submit it. We're going to save it as woof. Let's just do test. Let's see what this looks like real quick. Go to Corel Draw, import, woof, test. 
So it's already giving you more of a, a picture type shape. And hopefully I'll be able to figure out how to change that from millimeters to inches. And this, you know, so this wasn't, you know, be the perfect picture size. Let's get on there. This is, you know, 11 by seven. But if you, you had it all grouped together, which it is, you could make this, let's just see what it looks like. Oh, I didn't change the outline color yet. Now you could change this to, well, it's not letting me change it. I don't know why it's not letting me change it, but it did earlier. So there we go. I must be doing doing something different. There we go. 10 by eight. There you go. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. So Google or you, uh, however you search, just type in this and it'll come up with this program. There's the website. It's uh, .com laser puzzle creator ASP, but it was easily for me just to type in Wolf's Puzzle Generator, and there it came up right there. Anyway, hope that helped, and thank you for watching.